Eagles. And then, of course, you've got the uh, the Northern Quebec connection as well with the Scarlet Gray team. McGinty with her first point of the game, a kit, an ace, and that takes Ottawa to within one point of the game. You know, when you get in a situation like this and you come in as a player cold, to be able to do a specific job, that's exactly what the GGs need. McGinty serving for game point here. 24 serving 19. And it is another ace, and that will do it. Ottawa comes back to take game number one. 25-19. As we remind you that tonight's game is brought to you in part by VSP Sports. VSP Sports and ASICS has been the official supplier of equipment and clothing to the University of Ottawa GG's women's volleyball program for over 19 seasons. Ayon takes it back row. Here's the set. Thibault with the attack. Diving into the court was Ellen Gray to keep the ball alive. Natalie Gray now puts it over, dug by Thibault. Cross court set for Aon, off the block to the floor it goes! Ottawa takes game two, 25-21. It is Natalie Gray with the kill, and she is back to serve. Gray now with four points in this third game. Her first service ace of the match, and that will be a winner in game number three, as the Gales win it, 25-21. Joanie Beauregard yet serving for the match. Taken by Heller, and Heller will be on the attack. And it's long, the GGs win it 25-21, and take the game, two ga three games to one. The Ottawa GGs have won the season series against the Queens Golden Gales, and move four points up on the Gales for second place in the OUA East Division. I'm joined now by Ariane Thibault, the player of the match for the Ottawa GGs. Ariane, uh, Bit of a slow start in both the first and second games uh, for the GGs. What was the turning point in the match? I think we just, uh, we've been practicing all week. Actually, the past couple of weeks, we've been practicing on very specific elements and actually showed up at the right time on the right game. So that was kind of a corner for us. You're blocking tonight. You're a monster at the net. <laughs> well, I've been practicing it, so hopefully it's going to keep going. How important was it for the GGs to defeat uh, Queens and take the season series tonight? Um, it's pretty important because we actually played them earlier this season and we get to play them twice in the same, se in the same uh, semester. So that's, it's good because after a couple of uh, rough weekends, it feels good to have actually a win, put it in our pockets and keep on going. So tomorrow afternoon you're playing the RMC Paladins, a team that has yet to win a game this season. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming that the team does not want to uh, take the, the game lightly against the Paladins, a team that uh, could come in here and surprise you. Right, we always we always respect them. We stick to our game plan. We worry maybe a little less about their game plan, but we re really focus on our team and what it's going to take from from us to beat them. Not with not worrying so much about what they're going to do, but really just keeping the keeping the team together and working on our side. So, what will it take for the GGs to be victorious tomorrow afternoon? I think it's going to take a lot of control because it's kind of unexpected. They send over balls that we might not uh, be expecting. So really just ball control, taking care of free balls and uh, respecting their blocks, respecting their serves and just passing passing threes and should be good. One last question. Let's uh, talk about Tess Edwards serving this evening. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's no, really good. Yeah, especially she's had a bit of a, a tough week with some personal issues that she's dealing with. Uh, but the fact that she can just basically take the GGs and score six seven points in a row that was good really turned this game in the first in the first uh, in the first set yeah and especially because a serve it's really kind of a one-on-one -on -one personal competition it's only her versus a passer maybe in seam so it really uh, it brings the momentum in and pumps us up to keep on going <laughs> well, Ariane, thank you very much for your time and congratulations on being named the player of the game thank you <laughs> Ariane Thibault of the Ottawa GGs who have defeated the Queen's Golden Gales uh, three games to one here this evening here at Malpati Hall